yeah, I've said it. I'm guilty of it. Creativity is an addiction. And I'm also very guilty of saying that we need to bring our creativity together as a community to get this planet moving again. I mean, all of these news stories about the Delta variant and and COVID shutting down other nations. It's like, wow, I, I, I thought it was over. Our creativity has got to come together to help heal the entire world. Your creativity, my creativity. I know it's an addiction, this thing called creativity. But it's being called upon right now. It's time to share your creativity. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. My mom used to tell me all the time, you're walking a fine line, son. You're walking a fine line. That was her way of saying, I'm about ready to get my butt kicked. And I often wonder if we aren't walking a fine line here in 2021, that we're about ready to get our butts kicked. We're so spoiled. I mean, really spoiled rotten. We, we fought like wild children to get back out here so we didn't have to wear our masks anymore. We wanted to be in public. I, I get it, man. I get it. Because I took on a, a frontline job in September of 2020 right there in the middle of the pandemic because I needed to be with people. Well, where were the people at? Where could they legally go and get away with it? Well, at the grocery store. And I thought, well, that's where I want to be. I want to be right there with the people because I love being with people. You're walking a fine line, son. Yes, I am, Mama. Yes, I am. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today we are reading from July 8th, 2021. And this very moment right now, Elsa, the tropical storm, is marching right through the Carolinas. I wish I could turn this microphone around so you could see the torrential downpours that are taking place in this very moment that we, we are sharing this message. Uh, but this this is nature doing its thing. And if we race outside and we start messing around with these swollen creeks and lakes and things like that, that's walking a fine line right there. Because, whoa, this is not the place to be when these tropical storms really start taking over. It, it's the rain that does the damage it, because people are foolish. They, they'll They'll drive through a gigantic pool of water thinking, ah, I can do it. And all of a sudden, now their car is floating, walking a fine line. While meditating this morning, a vision took over my cleared soul. And this, this is what entered my soul. Money isn't going to fix this situation. The value of love will be what heals the broken. Can I say that again? Money isn't going to fix this situation. The value of love will be what heals the broken. Oh, I do know the image that was in my heart while those words were floating through me. To talk about it will spoil the greater existence. Money isn't going to fix the situation. Every day, I see all people throwing out their money. I mean, come on, we've been challenged to believe that those who receive are released. Look how much money is burned up in the weekly lottery. I hear so many people say, I'll take anything. Just let me win something. The value of love will be what heals the broken. But we got to be honest here. Throughout your daily walk, how many do you come in contact with that prefer money over love? Those with love are drained of the source for constantly giving with nothing in return. And that shouldn't be the expectation. Hey, I'm going to give you something so I can get something back. Now, don't go that way. But something has got to refill the caring soul. Who and what is broken? The intended receiver? Or is it the giver? Can we heal both? Can the receiver heal the giver? Can the giver heal the receiver? Money isn't going to fix this. You just can't throw a dollar bill at somebody and say, you're done, you're fixed. Have a great day. My wife will sit with people of homelessness and hear their story and hear what it is that they're missing in their lives. And then she'll take it upon herself to get them what it is that they said that they need. But then they keep needing and they keep needing and they keep needing and they keep needing. And and she keeps giving, 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 giving. I love my wife for being that way. But at the same time, what she's trying to fix isn't getting fixed. And and, and I think that's my question. It's like it's it's like where where are we going here? I'm not being a jerk when I say that. Hey, look, uh, uh, you got to be aware of, uh, of what you're giving. What I'm doing is I'm being caring in the way of saying there's more to give than objects. 
There's more to give than materialistic value. Give with your love. Give with your understanding. Give with your art of listening. Give in the way of being present, making them a part of, making you a part of as well. There's got to be an answer and, and not necessarily a role that we're playing, but rather a heart that is answering the calling. Money isn't going to fix this situation. The value of love will be what heals the broken. But are you doing it out of love or are you doing it because you feel like, well, if, if, if I'm good, I, I'm going to have something good come back at me. You can't do that. You can't do that. Be a giver because you are a giver. Don't be a giver so that you can receive. The universe will take care of you in its own way. But when you stand in front of your opportunity to be that giver, don't set yourself up in a way of saying, I guess I, I, I'm empty. I, I, it, I, nothing ever goes right in my life, but I try to help others. I try. See, that's, that's giving in the way of wanting to receive. Be present in someone's life and accept it as the gift. What? Being present in someone's life, accepting somebody for who they are, in that moment of now, that's the gift. That's you receiving the moment. Nothing of materialistic value. The moment is your gift. Receive it. Grow with it. Build upon it. Replenish the soil by being present in another person's life. But I'm not getting anything in return. Yes, you are. You're there. You're in that moment. That's the gift. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.